praise you God and we exalt you for you are worthy to be praised all the glory belongs to you you are worthy for you are God in heaven on earth and under the earth there is none like you you have power to deliver you have power to exalt you have power to do mighty things that is why we are here this evening to receive of your power to receive of your deliverance and to take us to another level all oh, the glory be yours. We applaud you and clap Hallelujah. for you. Hallelujah. I kindly take your seats in the Lord Jesus. Shalom, 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 people of God. Shalom, shalom, people of God. Are you well? Amen. Amen. I believe God is continuing to bless you. And his power is upon your lives. This is yet another beautiful evening before the Lord. Amen. Amen. It is your evening with the Lord. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are speaking of the power of the, the power in the unity of the body of Christ. What the body of Christ is able to do. But let's remind each other that the one, our enemy that we fight against also is united in his way. That there is also this evening, I would like to tell you that there is the unity in the, uh, there is power in the unity of Satan. Meaning the power of the body of Satan. Unity. The unity in the body of Satan. Satan also unites whenever he wants to attack you and you and me. In Satan's nature, there is simply disunity. But whenever he purposes to attack you, because Jesus took his power. He uses the principle of unity. Because the principle of unity will work for a believer and an unbeliever. You remember the Tower of Babel? They were one. They were united. They were together. They had one thought and mind. They had one purpose. They said, let's go here. And they had one project. They built one building. They spoke one language. And God in heaven came down. And he said, let me see what they are up to. Anytime people are in unity. Anytime the church is in unity. Anytime the family is in unity. When friends unite, they will do anything. They will do anything. You see the war between Gaza and Israel. Before that war began, there was a great problem in Israel. There was a law that Netanyahu wanted them to pass. Uh, it needed to pass through the Geneset, which is the parliament in Israel. So the majority in the, their parliament also were for Netanyahu. Also among them were those who are the conservative orthodox that were leaders in the orthodox church. 
So in the nation of Israel, that created a great division among the Israelites. There were different protests in Tel Aviv, in Ashkenaz, in different parts of Israel. There was disunity among them. Ministre, ministre wingabo. So the minister of defense, he said to Netanyahu that I don't support what you're doing and other ministers too. So in that time, Gaza attacked them. When they attacked them, now when Gaza attacked that day, Every one of them that was disunited, united, they all came together so they will attack their enemy. Even as they are still fighting in Hamas in Gaza, they still are speaking one language. But the day they'll end the war, they are going to be in conflict again. Anyway, that is how it is in the spiritual world. When they have a strategy to destroy you, then it will, it will come that those that are disagree will be in agreement. Many of us here, you have other jobs outside. Many of us here, you have other jobs outside. In your workplace, they may not be, some people don't agree. Because there is a difference. So they might pretend that they're your friends and the other ones don't seem like they're united. But the day they will want to fight you, they will all unite. So anytime there is a plan to fight or work against something, they will unite. So unity is a principle which works for everyone, be it the good and the bad. When Jesus was serving in his ministry, Pilate and Herod, they never greeted each other. Because Herod thought that Pilate was there to take over from him. And Herod's nature hated anyone who would want to take his place. Till when he would dream like the son was taking or dethroning him just in a dream the next morning he would request for his hanging Herod had many wives. But his wives would flee from him. Whenever he just had a thought that you are planning to conspire and betray him, that almost seemed like a command and he would give that the command for you to be destroyed, even if you're his wife. So in history they describe him that he had lost his mind. He was called Herod Archelaus. Because there are different Herods. There's Herod Agrippa first and then Philip. There are different Herods. So now it was Cleos in the time of Jesus. In Rome, they had sent Pilate to be in charge of administration. From the day Pilate got there, Herod never saw him face to face. Pilate, 
So, maritima. Even if he, he, he needed to sit in Jerusalem, he had also another seat in, in Caesarea or Maltima. Roma. And he was a Roman. Roma. Pilate was a Roman. But Herod was an Edomite. He was staying below or near the, the salt sea. Dead sea. The dead sea. That was in Edom. But Herodotus says that he had become a master in the land and because he paid homage to his father, they gave him a big land and ultimately he became a king. So he would pay homage or pay tax to Rome. So his family lineage continued to rule so the day to crucify Jesus, the Bible says it clearly that Herod and Pilate agreed on it. Both of them agreed. They smiled and embraced each other. They said, let's crucify him. When you find that people or a person wants to fight you or is insisting on fighting you, don't just look at them. There is a power behind. There is a certain unity. It might be an evil unity. It might be the devil. It might be people conspiring against you, but they are united against your life. So unity was always used to uh, achieve great things. Why is America great? There are 50 states put together, united. They are great states. They united themselves. It's as though we could say Africa and it's just one country. Imagine the power we would possess. Today Africa it has a million inhabitants. One billion in, in, inhabitants. Imagine one nation that has a billion inhabitants. We would never be in such poverty. Look at China. In the 70s, they Donke <laughs> So an example of China in the 70s, they had worse roads like Congo. We're talking Maram roads, and it was a very poor country. But 50 years later today, they are a highly civilized, first-class first nation. They have all their roads are tarmac. They have skyscrapers. They have really developed because <laughs> of unity and a great population. <laughs> so Africa can't develop unless we unite. Deja. For example, from here to Burundi, it's about 30 minutes drive. Oh, it's, it's a 30 minutes drive to the border of Bujesera and Burundi. To move from here to Burundi. Border. From the capital city of Rwanda to Burundi border is 30 minutes drive. But there is a border you can't go beyond it. One day I drove a car in the USA. I traveled through five states. I was driving for 24 hours. I was visiting my son at school. Florida. We left Florida in the morning. 
early in the morning. Do, do, do traversa Florida yose. We went across Florida. Turakomeza twingira muri Georgia yose za Atlanta. We went through Georgia Atlanta. Turakomeza muri Carolina y'amajepfo. Through South Carolina. Ducha mu misozi ya Carolina y'amajyarugu. We went through the hills of North Carolina. Tubona kugera muri Virginia. Then we went to Virginia. Ibyo ni bihugu bitanu. Those are five states. Ariko ntumenya umupaka. But there is no border. Umenye ko wageze muri Georgia. There is no indication you're getting into another state. Keretsuru umuntu ubizi. Unless you really know how to know the signs of Aru places. Aru tumenyetso ndetse no kumenya nka masantre y'uburuhukiro arukunda tandukanye ni umenye ati ah andi muri Georgia cyangwa rene. Ariko ni igihugu kinini cyane naciye mu bihugu bitanu nta mupaka. Ariko ibaze kuvanga ugere Zambia imipaka ubukiye. So we traveled all that way and unless you're really accustomed to the place you would really just never know if you're from one state to the other. Five states I was able to travel but if you try to move from here to Zambia you definitely know how difficult that would be. Where we were in Florida to Virginia It's like traveling from here to South Africa. Beautiful highways we we so 70 miles is equal to 200 kilometers per hour so you are driving fast from kigali to cape town 24 hours or so with no the reason the United States is a great nation, it is a big nation. Many states put their minds together, put their wealth together, put everything together, and they became great. They are highly developed. Okay. The Europeans did that. From Belgium to Germany, there is no border. Holland. When you go to Holland, when you go to France, there is no border. That is why these nations are great. But try to go to Tanzania. You have issues at the border you feel like turning back ibyo ni bibazo byo gukora uri nyakamwe igiye cyose uri nyakamwe uraneshwa this is a problem of working single handed any time you try to be on your own and work like an island you will be defeated ntakundu tutahomba rero Definitely we cannot profit out of that. We learned about locusts yesterday. How they work in unity. They attack your swarming locusts. They will send crawling locusts. The swarming locusts will attack from the top, the crawling locusts from the bottom. Then they call on the consuming locusts. They say whatever is left behind, swallow it. The consuming locusts will speak to the chewing locusts. Chew every leftover. Then you're done. That is how Satan's unity works. These are locusts without a king. We are talking about this. The swarming locusts, the consuming locusts, crawling locusts, and chewing locusts. There are things they can do, but greater things they will do because they have a king. Let's see what they can do. In Revelation chapter 9, from verse 1, we reach verse 11. Boninyenyeri guye mwisi ivuye mwijuru. Ihabwe rufungu zo gufungura urwobo rwikuzimu. Then the fifth angel sounded and I saw a star fallen from heaven to the earth. To him was given the key to the bottomless pit. Ndagira ngo iryo jambo ryumve ikuzimu. I want you to hear this word bottomless pit. Turaza kurigarukaho. We'll come back to it. Ku murongo wa kabiri. Verse 2. 
ifunguru rwo bwo rwikuzimu ruva mu mutso cumba ngo witanura rinini izuba ni kirere byijimishwa no mutsi wo mu rugo rwo and he opened the bottomless pit and smoke arose out of the pit like the smoke of a great furnace so the sun and the air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit mu mutsi hava mwiki Mumwotsi ava mwiki. What came out of the sm- of the smoke? Zari zivuye. The locusts where did they come from? From the bottomless pit. Zari zivuye kuzimu. They were from the bottomless pit. Hazumwotsi. A smoke came. Mumwotsi asa mwizige. Ngozi jahe. Mwisi. Zihabwe ubushobozi bwo gukora ibyo scorpio zo mwisi zibasha gukora. Then out of the smoke locusts came upon the earth and to them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power. Ariko zitegekwa zigira gute zitegekwa kutagira icyo zitwara number 1 iki ibyatsi byo mwisi number 2 cyangwa ikintu cyose kibisi number 3 cyangwa igiti Jos zategetswe gukora iki keretse bande abantu badafite kimenyetso cy'Imana mu ruhanga rwabo they were commanded not to harm number 1 the grass of the earth number 2 any green thing number 3 any tree but only those men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads do you hear this okay Dukomeze kuri gatatu. Let's go to 5. Zihabwike. Kutabica. Keretse kuba babaza meza ngahe. Atanu. Kandi kubabaza kwaso. Gusa no kubabaza kwa Scorpio iri y'umuntu. And they were not given authority to kill them, but to torment them for 5 months. Their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. Turma, to, torment. torment. Le turma. The tormentor. Umurangwa katanda tu. Gomuri yomis. Aba anu baza gira gute. Baza asha kurufu. Ariku. Di baza arubo na na hatu. Bazi fuza. Guf. Ariku rufu. Ruzaba hunga. In those days, many will seek death and will not find it. There was di- desire to die and death will flee from them. Karindwi. Verse 7. Yasaga niyama farashi yiteguriwe intambara. Kumitwe yazu zari zifitibisa na makamba asaniza habu. Mumaso hazu hasaga niki na habandu. The shape of the locust was like horses prepared for battle. On their heads were crowns of something like gold and their faces were like the faces of men. Kandi zari zifite ubwoya busaniki numusatsi wabagore. Apano abagabo tuje twumva neza nota benanga. Kuko nimwe mu defriza twebwe se ko na donc zari zifite de frisage zari zara de frige anyway ameyo yazo yasaganike na yintari they had hair like women's hair and their teeth were like lion's teeth like what yeah. like women's hair <laughs> okay eh kumurongo wakangahe chenda wachenda Zari zifite nibikingira ibituza bisa nibyuma guhinda kwa mababa yazo kwa rukumeze ngo guhinda kwa magare akururwa n'amafarashi menshi yirukanka ajya mu ntambara and they had breastplates like breastplates of iron and the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots with many horses running into battle chumi verse 10 kandi zinzike zari zifite imirizo nki ya scorpio zifite nimbori mu mirizo yazo zihabwa kubabaza abantu ameza atanu they had tails like scorpions and they, they and there were stings in their tails their power was to hurt men 5 months 
twarasomye ejo ngwinzige ndizigirike ndizigira umwami ngo ariko zitera zigabanyije mu mitwe itandukanye ziriya nzige nababwiye zubwo kubune zitandukanye nizi ku murongo wa 10 no ngo zari zifitiki izizo zigira umwami izi zari zifite umwami wazo ari wende malaika wahe wikuzimu mu ruhe burayo yitwa abadon naho mu rugiriki yitwa nde apollo the locusts we read about yesterday the four kinds they didn't have a king but these ones on verse 11 as you can see they have a king and they had as the king over them the angel of the bottomless pit whose name in hebrew is abaddon but in greek he was his name was apollyon izinzige these locusts ziyobo we na apollyon led by apollyon ari we abaddon who is abaddon Ziri kuzimu. They are in the bottomless pit. Tizibi musozi. They don't live on the earth. Zigendera kwitegeko. They work on a command. Kuko zifite umwami. Because they have a king. Iyo zabwiwe kwica ntizikiza. When they are told to kill, they will not save you. Iyo zabwiwe gukora ku kintu, kudakora ku kindi zirumvira. When they are commanded to touch something and all the other, they will obey. They go by the law or by a command. Whatever they are commanded to do, they will do it. They move in a smoke that is like from a furnace. Wherever they get to, the sun and the air is covered by them. So the smoke from that bottomless pit makes the sun and the entire atmosphere to become darkness. So these locusts when they attack, the other locusts, they might touch other things, they will touch stuff, trees, grass, they may make you hungry, they will make you poor, they will they will spoil your reputation. Those are the other locusts without a king. But the ones with a king, their job is to hurt you. That kind of pain you never describe to anyone else. The kind of pain that is not evident to other people. You live with a person. This kind of person will torture you and torment you. You can't really describe what you go through to others. You live with a person at work. They will destroy you inside. And you can't cry to anyone. You will not cry to anybody. Because to others, he looks like an angel. This kind of locusts, they hurt people inside. So, People, they hurt a person to the point that they want to commit suicide. When others look at you, they wonder why do they even have to reach that level. They work inside a person. They will eat you up and they will confuse your mind and take away your hope. They will hurt you internally. Then you wonder why you are still alive. You 
Then you hear someone has committed suicide. But they seem to be well. No. No. They had a good job. They are not they are unemployed people out here they don't commit suicide the ones who have great jobs that are living a good lives are the ones committing suicide they are not allowed to eat grass they don't eat trees or anything or even your wealth they will not touch it they will not touch your car they will touch your peace Truly, you don't have an issue of food. But you see the food and you have no appetite. It's not because you don't have a bed to sleep on. But you sleep and you have no sleep. It's not because of clothing. You put on and you still don't feel like you, it's worth it. It's these kind of locusts have a king. Their purpose is to hurt man. Turma. To torment. To, they are supposed to, umutima. to mess up your mind and your heart and hurt you so much and torment you. And you hurt yourself and anything around you. They don't know the earth. Now, when they are lucky to come to the earth, they never return. Because in the bottomless pit, they are in a great smoke of a furnace. Now, if they are lucky to come to the earth, they never want to return back because the earth is much better. These kind of locusts, how would you fight them? This is what we are doing this evening. How will you fight such locusts in your household? How do you send them out? How do you send them out of your mind? They are well equipped. They are well equipped. Bible says that they are like horses prepared for battle. Now what's amazing they, they confuse people. They they confuse people. Amen. These kind of locusts are described as having a face of a human and hair like the hair or the hair, hair, hair like the hair of a woman. Normally, this image should bring out an image of pity, an image of mercy, because that's what describes a woman. But unfortunately, that is not what this seem like. You find that women are more merciful, they can be lied to, and they connive, uh, they can lie to them, but other men will not easily be lied to. That is not the case here with these locusts. 
This is where it's difficult. They come looking like a man. They are merciful. But they are here to destroy you. Umuntu kunda umuntu wemeye umuntu wa kwenspinzo impuhwe niwe nawe wiha The person that you'll always love the person who has showed you mercy is the one you give your heart to normally Siko bimera That is how it is right now these locusts. Now these locusts don't come in their true sense of locusts. They come in the image of a woman with a crown. Eh? That on their heads, they look like, they, in their heads they have crowns like gold and their faces were like the faces of men. Now this face of men, they described that their hair was like the hair of the woman. Their hair. Hmm. Now the locusts they are described to look like a woman and they say their hair is like a woman's hair but their teeth is like the lion's teeth. They, they are ready for battle. They have breastplates. What does this mean? Normally breastplate in the Bible is, is righteousness. They show you that they are righteous. This person show you that they are they have okay. a integrity. They are pure at heart. They are also dressed up like the righteous. But, but with a mission to destroy your life, your household and your dreams. Eh. What kind of locusts are this? They have a king. Do not be deceived by people's emotions or be lied to by what you see physically. Always seek God's guidance on any decision and any person that you want to be with. Mm. So the sound of their wings is like the sound of chariots with many horses running into battle. They have they have they have tails like scorpions and they have stings. Have you been stung by a bee? That is just a very small sting. If you're stung by a scorpion, that is very painful. They they were given a period to do their, to their destruction, their powers to hurt men for five months. Beyond that, everybody will be destroyed. Theologians say that the calamity that Job encountered or went through, that it lasted nine months. But when you see the, you see the pain he went through, it felt like nine years. Any plague. 
any plague that would attack your life, the effect of that plague is so much that it lasts like it was a year. Why were they given only five months to torment men? It's because the number five is the number of grace. Meaning, Meaning that those people that are going to torment, the grace of God had been taken away from those people. Because the God of, the God of grace will not uh, permit them to hurt you. Unless you are impossible or you are attacked. This kind of attack if it went beyond five months, we would never find a hospital to treat us from such pain. We would all go crazy. They have a king. The king is Abaddon. Abaddon. Or Apollyon. Let me give you an example. For you to have an idea of such locusts and who they attacked in the Bible. Let's go to Luke chapter 8. May the Lord enable us this evening to get rid of these locusts. How people, okay. This is we will talk about how we will attack them back as we fight them. They are well equipped and ready for battle. To the point that we may not be able to fight against them. Luke 8.26 Then they sailed to the country of Gadarenes, which is opposite Galilee. Gadarenes Gadarenes is across the, the, the Sea of Galilee. It is in the mountains of Perea. In, cru, in Cruz. Yomotse imusozi uyuni yesu. Umunutewe nava daimoni. Wavu ya mumudugudu ahura nawe. Uweyara mazi minsi minshi Yamba yubus. Ntanzu yabagam. Ahugwe yabagahe. Mumva. And when he stepped out of the land, they there met him, and this is Jesus, when he stepped out, there met him a certain man from the city who had demons for a long time, and he wore no clothes, nor did he live in a house, but in tombs. Yabagahe. Where was he living? Mumva. Yari What was in him? He had demons. He had no clothing for a long time. He was a young man. He was walking around nude, living in tombs. In tombs. When Jesus got out of the water and went Ahura across nawe. Galilee, he met him. And he was wandering in the mountains of Perea. But in the night, he got to the tomb to sleep there. So he met Jesus. Verse 28. Yesu. Avuga ijwiri rengati. Duhurie he. Yesu ngana wimana. Isumba bzos. Nda kuinginze. Tu gira gute. Tu nyitiki. Urufu. Iyini yo moderi ya zogu kora. Iyi. Donke. Kiwa vukichu tazi. Vokabileru vuga nukujizi. 
ntunyike urufu nagashinyaguru ni kwizigeze izi nzigeze bito mwami zimera iyo za guteye zikwikisha urufu hagaze nagashinyaguru when he saw jesus he cried out he cried out fell down before him and with a loud voice said what have i to do with you jesus son of the most high god i beg you do not torment me why was he talking about torment it's because this is the nature of the attack of such locusts they attack you you die even when you're still alive but you are tormented to the point of death verse 29 ichatumye abivugatyo ichatumye Ninde Ninde wabivuze Ah ah uyu watu wavuze ninde Ninde Ni demon numwe ni benshi Ariko ndaga ngo wumve ubumwe Icatumye ati bavuze ngo icatumye babivuga Uyu muntu siwe wavugaga ni nzige zari zimurimo zari zaramugize gicumbi ariko ziri mu bumwe butanga ngo icatumye abivuga atyo nuko Yesu yarategetse daimon kumuvamo Yesu yirukana ndi yirukanye ba daimon yirukanye daimon daimon yajyaga mutera kenshi nicyo gituma bamurindaga bamuboheshije iki iminyururu yiki yamaboko ningoyi yama yamagura kagira ate akabicagagura Daimon akamujyana he akamwirukankana mu butayi For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man for it had often seized him and he had and he was kept under guard bound with chains and shackles and he broke the bonds and was driven by the demon into the wilderness Uyu nawe arafite nyina nase This young man also had a father and a mother. Imagine if this was your son. He's moving around nude. And he's moving in the forest. The family you return him. You tie him. In a short while he will break the chains. And he will run again. Imagine such pain of the parents. So this man himself is also being tormented to death. But now imagine his parents how they are. I want you to look at your prodigal son. He's wandering in the whole city. He doesn't stay in the house. And when he comes, he looks really beaten up. You want to care for him that he's finally home and he will sleep away and live again. These These kind of locusts have really attacked us to the point we can't imagine. Is the same locusts that are behind the spirit of homosexuality. You have, you have your daughter, she, call, she you gave birth to her, she's called Sarah and she returns home and says, "You know what? I'm John this time." Abatinganye ndi baba mu rugo, bahora bazerera kuko bazi ko ibyo bakora tutabyemera. Homosexuals or homosexual or gay people, they don't stay home. They are wondering because they have a spirit of rejection. They know we don't accept of what they do. They, they know in their mind that everybody else is against them. Mm. Yes, we love you, but we don't like the spirit of locusts in you. Imagine your son wakes up. Your son wakes up this morning and says, "You know what? I feel like I'm a girl." The pain the parent will have that day. When we are not yet accustomed to it. I went to evangelize abroad. Noneho eh kuri altar. So I was coming down to the altar. Akenshi David Didio tutangiye gusenga protocol iranjyana 
Normally when we start to pray the ushers will take me. Chane chane ko sare twari mu masaha yaragiye kurangira kugira ngo abantu batanda mutsa none ubi nagomba kugenda mbere. Especially because this is a place where we had something else going on I needed to move for the hall to be used so the ushers would take me quickly so we do not cause a stampede. Bono mu mama wo munyafrika kazi. So there was an African woman. Ko ngiye gusanga sanga ari umunyarwanda kazi. And then I got to know I got to realize she's Rwandan. Araza when I just sat on my seat, she held me hard and held me. Protocol The ushers wanted to take her off me by force so that I can go and the people would come out of the Because I was uh, I was mindful of time. So I told her mother, it's okay, let's go together. Let's go I felt that she was in such pain. She said it's okay. But she held my hand just in case. Just in case I would disappear from her. Brethren, people are burdened at heart. When we reached the office where I was waiting from, she wept loud. She said, I have one son after my husband died. Yesterday, he came wearing a skirt and said, he feels like he's a girl. We were not used to such other time. I said, is that a Rwandi son? Yes, he is. He said, now listen. It's not a problem that he's putting on a skirt. I would be patient with that. But they, they have taken his sex away. And she wept so loud. She said, please help me because I'm about to commit suicide. That the father, left, the father left this boy. He died during the war. I saw the poverty we were going through. I allow to give everything for us to come abroad so that my son would be educated and be a good person. Now he has changed into something else. I'm dying. This is too much for me to handle. I really felt so bad at that point, homosexuality was not common. I also felt very bad. Now we see it every day. She would hit her chest so hard and said, oh my God. And she would talk about her sisters-in-law, how they will slander her. Because she had taken the son thinking she's going to make him something great. Right. And the father's uh, side of family, they don't have sons. It was the only boy family in the extended family. family. So the entire family of the father no, was was to him. Now he too has turned into a girl. These are the kind of locusts. The when your child has when your son or your daughter turns in and changes their sex and they say they are no longer what the Lord made them to be, the spirit behind them is the spirit of the locusts that is led by Apollyon. Yes, it's okay. People People Don't 
zifite umwami ya polioni utari mu izo nzige nti wabyumva kandi nabiciye muri urusengero ndabizi muri mwo sindi mbo mvuga ngo munkunde pe ko ndavuga ngo mukire kuko murashize i don't imagine how does a man sleep with a man it's very hard to imagine and this is really difficult but we know the kind of spirit that is in them is these kinds of locusts that have got apollyon as their king i know some of you here are also practicing homosexuality and i'm not here to please you i'm here that i will speak the truth and you will be delivered verse 30 witwa nde Uwe Yesu yabazaga ninde ni wa muntu cyangwa ni daimon ni daimon ngo aramubaza ati witwa nde na baramusubiza ati ingabo ni byo zina ryanje kuko abadaimon ba murimo bari benshi Jesus asked him saying what is your name and who is he asking is it the man no he's asking the demon and he said legion because many demons had entered him <laughs> Uh, terrible. This is terrible. Deba. Baramwinginga ngo atagira gute. Atabategeka kujya he. Ni yihe myuka ibikuzimu. Ni nzike. And they begged him that he would not command them to go out into the abyss. Who, what kind of spirits are found in the abyss? It is the same locusts. Ah. Ah uh ah. So we are here. Go back to 31. Go back to 31. Hariya harimo ibintu nka bitatu. Ijambo rya mbere baramwinginga. There are three things. First they begged him. Bose icarimwe. Together as a group what did they do? There was the unity of Satan in them. They were meant to go to the abyss. They were Baramwinginga ngo atabategeka kujya he impamvu bashize kwijamba bategeka nuko bafite umwami iyo ubabwiye barubaha bazi hierarchy cyari cyo nuvuga kuko uri umwami wabami turajyayo ariko turakwinginza utwohereza ushaka sof ikuzi so these, as you know, these locusts or these demons are meant to dwell in the abyss or the bottomless pit. That's where they belong. But somehow they are on the earth and possessing this young man. They have just encountered Jesus who is the king of kings. And they understand the power of hierarchy and the command. Jesus is the king of kings. He commands them or they were worried. He would command them to go back to the abyss. So remember, they do not want to go back. So they beg him that he does not send them to the abyss. <laughs> These demons are amazing. They are powerful. They never beg Jesus not to take them in the abyss. They propose to him where they should go. They told them what they would like him to do. They didn't say Jesus, don't take us to the abyss. But in their unity, ngo kuri uwo musozi hari umugana w'ingurube nyinshi zirisha nuko baramwinginga ngo <laughs> abakundire kuzinjiramo hmm. now a herd of many swine was feeding there on the mountain so they begged him that he would permit them to enter them and he permitted them ah na yesarabe merere even Jesus permitted them. Why? In the principle, in the principles, Jesus said, where two or three 
among you. And you are one, gather together. Whatever you ask, I'll give it to you. If you ask for anything, please Rimwe ntudusubize he ikuzimu ari kudushire he mu ngurube Yesu agira ati aremera tashwa yarafite imbaraga z'ubumwe sikindu God is a God of principles and he respected the power of unity and the principle of unity. When the demons begged not to go to the abyss and they begged to go into the swine, because God or Jesus respected the principle of unity, all together when they begged, he permitted them to get into the swine. Let's look at Matthew 8.31 the the This is Yaru mugiriki, yaru muganga wa mugiriki. Kanda wa giriki muri lojike wa raba ambere. Hariko yari ichaye, ya andiki itavo charu, kanibza wako zweni nungu. Kuko hari muimbaraga zima. Matayo reru wariho ichogebza abaye. Yaravu ze mungu wabada imo ni wazibo onye. Ni muli matayo, umunani mirongu itatonarimu. Ngo wazibo onye wakiragute. Bara mungi inga, lili ya jambo kuinga ni enterisesyo. Abada imo ni wakura enterisesyo. Bara angize wala mungu gira ngo. Turagwa proposition. No tukui rukana. Ola mutu tukui rukanyi. Utuko hereze. Mururi ya. Mugana wiki. Winguru. Daya ngu mvijo sengesho. Abaroko ni numenya gusenga. Sinani mfuze mwonga ba daimone. Ariko kurusha ba daimone. Ichi omuza sa omuza gihapu. So I just showed you the part of this story in Luke, and remember Luke was the doctor, but even such things that happened, he could not describe them. It was way beyond him. And now we will look at what Matthew said at the time. So the demons begged him, saying, if you cast us out, permit us to go away into the herds of swine. So he permitted them. Then the demons went out of the man and entered the swine, and the herd ran violently down the steep place into the lake and drowned. Why? Demons dwell in the deep waters. The ones that are wandering in the air, there are others that have got the headquarters because, because of a specific mission they have in the air, but they dwell in the deep waters. In the air. In the air. That is where they operate. But the demons in the abyss, there is another great level. And they attack this man. They don't eat grass or they take anything. They don't take any property. They take your life instead. So for them, because they don't go into, into your properties or the grass. Please, so they said, rather than going back into the abyss, we are allowed to now go into the animal, the swine. We will be like the locusts without a king. They will eat people's properties. They will eat their wealth. They are not really... They are not very complex demons or difficult demons. So they had... This was drowned in the water. 
babwira abo mu mudugudu no mu mihana ibyabaye when those who fed them saw what had happened they fled and told it in the city and in the country donc mihana yose yaraho so everyone was there hari mihanda icumi read country why so okay there in the city and in the country hari 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 miji icumi there were 10 cities yose all of them it was decapolis there were 10 cities all of them got to know about the news barahaguruka bajya kubireba bazaho yesari basanga uwo muntu wavanwemo iki abadaimoni yicaye kubirenge byande byande byaye agiza ate yambaye azi ubwenge kabandi Hanyuma barati Then they went out to see what had happened and came to Jesus and found the man from whom the demons had departed sitting at the feet of Jesus clothed and in his right mind and they were afraid Ndagira ngo Imana igarure ubwenge bw'abana bawe May God restore the mind of your children w'umuryango wawe of your family May he restore your entire household. They found him by the feet of Jesus. He was clothed. He was like all the other people. They, those, and also who had seen it told them by what means he had been demon possessed and was healed abantu bose bo mu gihugu cyabagadarene gihereranye naho baramusaba ngo agira ati abavire mu gihugu kuko bari batewe nubwo babwinshi nuko Yesu yikira mu bwata agira ati asubira yo then the whole multitude of the surrounding region of the gadarenes asked him to depart from them for they were seized with great fear and he got into the boat and returned no umuntu wavanwe wa daimon na waramwinginga kujyana nawe ariko yesu agira ati aramusezera ati witahire uji wawe ubatekerereze ibyo imana igukoreye byose aragenda yamamaza ibyo yesu yamukoreye byose Amen. Now the man from whom the demons had departed begged him that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away saying, Return to your own house and tell what great things God has done for you. And he went his way and proclaimed throughout the whole city what great things Jesus had done for him. Amen. Amen. Even if these locusts are terrifying to this level, they still fear Jesus. Now that you have Jesus, you are blessed and have an opportunity to overcome them. Do not fear, therefore. Yes, they've destroyed several things in your life, But now we see their end. They still found the man by the feet of Jesus. He was clothed. And he was in his right mind. Amen. It means that one can come out of being possessed and they will be like other people. There is still hope that people can return to their normal self. There, there is hope that you can sleep again soundly and you have peace in your heart. The peace that was taken will be restored. There is still hope. Because we have Jesus. And what brought him was not to preach in gatherings. It was to deliver this man. He went telling it to everyone. And God did great things for him. When we go to Israel, sometimes we go to Kursa. It's in, it's in Gadarenes. It's on that hill. The same hill that the swine went into the sea. There is a synagogue from a long time. It was from a long time. Now this young man, 
Who was demon possessed? The, the locusts have attacked him. But sat at the feet of Jesus. He became a bishop in his time. So the ten cities, he planted churches in them to the point that his synagogues are still there. Amen. There is still hope that your person can still serve God. If you too will serve God without wondering about the issues you're facing. All the diseases that have destroyed your life. And you are in pain even as you go to sleep. There is so much pain in your body. There are others among you you feel like you have a, a living being walking in your body. You have a rat. It moves from one part of the body. And you feel it shifting to another place. And then it's in your shoulder. When you tell people that, that you think you're baho, crazy, but that happens, your body has foreign things inside. Wambara, now when you put on, hanze, and you go out, you look handsome, you look beautiful, but only you know what's inside of you. So such locusts, they have someone who can overcome them. We have the king of kings who will overcome their king. And he will send them to the opposite direction where they should go. Praise Jesus. We are about to pray. So how can we overcome the locusts? They are great. Yes, we have Jesus. We have God. We have everything. However, they have made us suffer. Some of us, some of us may not be uh, under attack of the locusts, but those who are, listen to me. In Revelations 9.4 where we read mm. There are so powerful but there is a weak place that they have They have they were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth or any green thing or any tree, but only those men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. This evening, I'm going to pray for the seal of God on your foreheads. And you now, when that seal comes upon you, the power of the locusts will be subsided. Now, even the ones that want to attack tomorrow, they are powerless. Powerless. Oh, he has a seal. I can't attack him. They, they will be disappointed. Amen. Amen. They last saw you yesterday when you didn't have a seal. Now, by tomorrow, you'll have the seal. And by the time they come against you, they will not be able to overcome you. They are very angry with me. <laughs> but I don't care. Your locusts, I don't care if you're angry. You can be angry with your entire household. Now these people, they need the seal of Jesus. So when you come back tomorrow, you will not find them. Let me tell you two places the seal has worked. One in God, another in Satan. When Cain killed his brother Abel, what did God say? That I will put a, sign, a seal on your head. No one will ever touch you. Be it the locusts, be it any robbers, anybody is not allowed to touch you. You'll die. And not you die when you have a seal on your forehead, 
You won't die. Takuzimu. There won't be hell. There is no demon. No demon. There is no love. That will take you, you out of the power of God. If the seal of God worked on Cain the murderer, how much the seal of God it will, how much will the seal of God work on you who's righteous? Second place where the seal was on the forehead. Satan stole it and copied it. Anyone who will have a sign on their forehead. And it is the number of a man. Let them buy what they want and do what they want. Satan. Satan. Now we have a He also put a seal on his people. The way the world is organized. Okay. The Kamba. Anyway. How do these locusts come out of the bottomless pit? They are normally not permitted no, 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 no. to come out. God put them there because of their poison and their wickedness. They are wicked. When they come, how do they come? Onto the earth. When a person is getting into witchcraft, when he's being recruited to be a, a witch doctor, anytime a sorcerer, praise God that whatever I'm saying, the sorcerers here, you know what I'm saying. If you're here and you're a sorcerer, you know what I'm saying. And if you are a man, you might affirm it. Every sorcerer, when they are recruited, the locusts in the bottomless pit, one of them is permitted to come out. It's the only thing that permits them to come to the earth. It is only a person allowing them to come up. They are not permitted to come up. Even if they desire it, it can't happen. Now every witch or sorcerer They have a demon they work with To the point That that demon is different from the one in the air And the ones in the bottom they are from the bottomless pit so this witch, they have a heart. That they are literally heartless. Why? Because they have been connected to a demon in the bottomless pit. They no longer have a heart. That's why they sacrifice their most loved people. And it's because they are no longer themselves. They are heartless. <laughs> So when one locust comes out, in the spiritual principles, they are allowed. So one locust can call seven other locusts out of the locust. So that means seven other locusts can come out of the locust. This is how they work. When one is allowed to call on seven others, he brings... The, uh, the other seven are worse than Donke, each. So, now this one locust can call on seven other locusts with almost seven different types and greater wickedness than itself. So the seven wicked locusts it can also call on or invite no, other locusts. That is when they become a, a legion. 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 That's when they become Mugi a legion. Chakera. In the long Bible times. That is the Latin terminology. Mubaroma. 
Iyo bavuga ngo izingabo zigiye gutera ni lejo wabaga ari umutwe w'abasirikare hagati ibihumbi bine n'ibihumbi bitandatu So in Rome when they would say that the attack is of a legion we are talking of 4000 to 6000 soldiers Donc ne kwa ngo lejo rero So a legion No umutwe w'abadaimon ibihumbi bitandatu is an army of demons 6000 Ari ko bose But all of them Bagendra kuri wa undi wa mbere wabahamagaye They are following the command of the one who invited them Niyo mvu iyo yesa bavuga abavuga ko ari umuntu umwe That is why when Jesus is speaking about them he says No kwa ngo umurozo umwe So one sorcerer Ashobora gutunga abadaimon ibihumbi bitandatu Can in them have 600 demons inside Umuro mufite umurozo umwe iwanyu mu rugo Muba mutunza abadaimon ibihumbi bitandatu Ni mugira babiri In your family if you, if you have a witch they have 600 demons that means that's what is in your family now if there are two you can imagine just double it Reka tureke imibari mutavamwa ahamutse I don't want to scare you with the numbers Ariko but nubwo ari benshi gute Even if there are many Iyo bahuye na Yesu wa And they encounter Jesus Hallelujah Iyo bahuye na Yesu twize They meet the Jesus we've believed Hallelujah. 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 Ari kononeho. Iyuri kimenyetso cha Yesu. Now when you have the seal of Jesus on your forehead. Reka ndeke kubatinza turi muri jene muraje gufungura. We are fast. Nange ndashonje. I'm also hungry. I don't want to delay you. Mujye musenga nsonze karemba re kureka. You should pray for me so that I, I don't take too long. Anyway. Nanone nacho bimaze kurya tutarambara cyaka imenyetso cya Yesu. What is the use of eating before we take on the seal of Jesus anyway? Uyu munsi today ikimenyetso wisiga ku ruhanga the seal you'll have on your forehead is the blood of jesus agomba kubaha it has to be on your forehead iyeriko hararimbutse in jericho the walls were destroyed uretse wari ufite inzuri ikimenyetso except the woman who had a sign on her window amase zerano yose ukwima Niyatanga yakome jwe na marazo yungami wachi Haleluya Reka duhaguruke tugiye kwinjira mu mwanya Let us stand we are getting into Tugiye kuzirwanya We are fighting the Lord Hanyuma ndaza kubwirige dushira ikimenyetso And I'll tell you when we are putting the seal Ndababwira uko mugishira I'll tell you how you put it Uh Harano wagerageje kuidentifya inzige mu buzima bwawe cyangwa mu rugo rwawe Did you identify some locusts in your life and in your household Apollyon nibindi Apollyon in control Wabibonye. Did you see him Amen Amen Hajeje ni kuwakanga Kuwakane Nababwiye ko nzababwirike cyo kuwakane Imiyagine Muzanyibutse kuwa gatano nzababwira ubwoko bw'abaryi binzige So tomorrow we'll talk about the four winds but on Friday I'll tell you the locust eaters the different kinds of locust eaters The people that eat... Amen So I'll tell you of people the kinds of people that eat locusts These people demons are terrified by them This is on Friday Tomorrow we'll talk about the four winds in the west Iburengerazuba ni kimenyetso tubiye gushiraho. We talk about the western wind and the forehead the seal on the forehead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nuda kuri muri Yesu nushaka kugire fier. Ibyo ari byose. If you are in Jesus you need to feel proud and Turubwo ko mudahangarwa. We are a terrifying people. Taufa kutwinjirana. No one will just come to us. Satan arabizi. Satan is aware. Ikuzimu barabizi. In the abyss they are aware. Taufa kuduhangara. No one will just come against us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey! Hey! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
will use the name of Jesus and we overcome them. Then we will put immunity on our foreheads, the seal of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Are we ready to pray? Send all the Lord in the name of Jesus. We come before you, man. We destroy Apollyon. Apollyon. Abaddon. You, King of Abyss. Genda. Please, so, get out. Get out of the children of God. Get out of our houses. Get out of our houses. Get out of our work. In our lives. In our projects. In our projects. In our vision. So, get out. Get out of our family blood. Get out of our intestines. Get out of our stomachs. Get out of our bones. Get out of our bodies. Get out of our ears. So get out! Get out! Go out! In the name of Jesus. 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 So get out! Get out of our sons. Get out of our daughters. The spirit of homosexuality. Get out of them. Get out! Get out the spirit of homosexuality. Get out! Get out! Get out! Go to the abyss. Go back to the abyss. In the wilderness where you came from, I destroy you. I send you out in the name of Jesus. 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 Soka! Get out! Get out! Get out! Leave! Soka! Cast out! Leave him! In the name of Jesus. Let us be in agreement. Amen. I pray and you say amen. Where are you manya? From now on, Apollyon. Apollyon. You are all defeated. Apollyon. Apollyon. And your army. You are overcome. Hallelujah. There will be no homosexuality in our household in the name of Jesus. There will be no sickness in my household in the name of Jesus. There will be no mental sickness in our household in the name of Jesus. There will be no barrenness in our household in the name of Jesus. There will be no delayed marriages in our household in the name of Jesus. There will be no stupidity and foolishness in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Satan, Satan, and the false prophet, and the antichrist, we destroy you. Destroy you. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Fatukuma go kwa wa kuindio. Take your, take your right hand and put it on your forehead. You can use the left if you don't have the right hand. You have a problem with your right hand. Use, the, use whatever hand you have. Repeat this prayer. I receive. The seal of God of Jesus Christ of the Holy Spirit in my forehead. You lock us from the abyss. You have no power over me. I have a seal of God that is greater than all. The blood of Jesus is covering me. The blood of Jesus is a seal of redemption. The blood of Jesus is a sign of protection in my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive. Let this be a seal today and forevermore. Amen. Amen.
Let us applaud our God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Niumva Satan atangiye ukongorera. Ji mubwiye ati reba. Eh. Ari bwiriza. If Satan starts to whisper to you and say it can't work, just say, "Look at my seal on the forehead." Amen. Amen. You have the seal of God, yes. the Lord Jesus, no and the Holy Spirit. Will you move today today and forevermore? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ooh. God, I pray a blessing upon your church. May you go home with them and make them arrive safely and anoint them and cover them. Cover them. Give them. them from accidents. Everyone. Let them arrive safely in the name of Jesus. You are now covered and covered. Go with the Lord Jesus. If you are not yet saved, please come here. Come and receive Jesus and get into your promises. When the others go home, please come quickly. Don't go home without being saved. Amen. Amen. Shi ma yes. We praise Jesus. Tra gu tegere chengu ino. We are waiting for you. Come. Harimbara ga ziame ye. We not try to get it yet. We know what it is. Come and receive the Lord Jesus. We know Akira yes struggle to get a young we know. Come and receive the Lord Jesus, we are waiting for you. We know, we know. Come, come. 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 Come forward and receive the Lord. 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 Come Aturindi shi mbaba zaki Hava mubjago Hava mubjago No muma kuwa Aturindi shi mbaba zaki Hava mubjago Hava mubjago No muma kuwa Aturindi shi mbaba zaki Abadukurikia kuri radio na televizyo na mwe, ushaka kwa kira yesu, 
Those who are following us on the radio, on the TV, and online, please repeat this prayer if you want to receive the Lord Jesus. Let us close our eyes. Repeat with your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I repent. I've led my life for too long. But I'm here now into your arms. I come to sit at your feet. Clothe me and put me in my, in, give me your mind that I will be a son and daughter of God. I allow that you will rule my heart. Be the Lord and the Savior of my life. I thank you that you have allowed, allowed to deliver me. All my sin has been sent into the sea. I'm pure by the blood of Jesus that cleanses me of all my sin. Make me a person that you desire that I will serve you all the days left of my life. Thank you that you've had me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.